Prince Harry has branded one member of Britain's royal family dangerous in a new interview, hours after he revealed the exact reason why Kate and William don't get on with Meghan. The Duke of Sussex was interviewed by Anderson Cooper on CBS 60 Minutes where he made a series of new allegations. Watch the video above, Harry names dangerous royal family member stream the world's best reality, entertainment and true crime shows for free on 7 Bravo on 7 Plus 1 was about his stepmother, Queen Consort Camilla, who was previously referred to by his mother Princess Diana as the third person in her marriage to Charles. In the interview, the prince branded his stepmother dangerous. She was the villain. She was the third person in their marriage. She needed to rehabilitate her image, Harry said of Camilla in the interview. You and your brother both directly asked your dad not to marry Camilla? Cooper responded, to which Harry agreed. We didn't think it was necessary. We thought that it was gonna cause more harm than good and that if he was now with his person, that surely that's enough, he said. Why go that far when you don't necessarily need to? We wanted him to be happy. And we saw how happy he was with her. So, at the time, it was, okay. In his book, Spare, Harry claims that Camilla began a campaign in the British press to pave the way for her marriage to Charles. In the book, he writes, I even wanted Camilla to be happy. Maybe she'd be less dangerous if she was happy. Cooper asked the prince, how was she dangerous? Because of the need for her to rehabilitate her image, Harry replied. That made her dangerous because of the connections that she was forging within the British press. And there was open willingness on both sides to trade of information. And with the family built on hierarchy, and with her, on the way to being queen consort, there was gonna be people or bodies left in the street because of that. In his book, Harry claims he was one of those victims who was sacrificed on Camilla's personal PR altar. If you are led to believe, as a member of the family, that being on the front page, having positive headlines, positive stories written about you, is going to improve your reputation or increase the chances of you being accepted as monarch by the British public, then that's what you're gonna do," he told Cooper. Elsewhere in the interview, Harry claimed that he was looking forward to he and his family being able to find peace. However, he admitted it had been a while since they had spoken. Do you speak to William now? Do you text? Cooper asked. Currently, no. But I look forward to. I look forward to us being able to find peace. The prince responded, adding it had been a while since he and his brother had communicated. Do you speak to your dad? Cooper asked. We aren't. We haven't spoken for quite a while. No, not recently. Harry responded. Harry also told the interviewer that he can't see a day when he would return as a full-time member of the royal family. When asked whether the full-scale rupture in their relationship could be healed, Harry said yes. The ball is very much in their court, but, you know, Meghan and I have continued to say that we will openly apologize for anything that we did wrong, but every time we ask that question, no one's telling us the specifics or anything, the prince said. There needs to be a constructive conversation, one that can happen in private that doesn't get leaked. Hours before the CBS interview aired, Harry gave a damning verdict on exactly why William and Kate don't get on with Meghan. Speaking with Tom Bradby for the UK's ITV, Harry told of how he initially thought Meghan's addition to the fold would bring he and his brother closer. I thought the, you know, the four of us would, you know bring me and William closer together, we could go out and do work together. Which I did a lot as the third wheel to them. Which was fun at times but also, I guess slightly awkward at times as well," he said. The prince then went on to detail why exactly he thought Kate and William do not get on with Meghan. I don't think they were ever expecting me to get, or to become, to get into a relationship with someone like Meghan who had, you know, a very successful career. There was a lot of stereotyping that was happening, that I was guilty of as well, at the beginning. Harry explained that the stereotype he was referring to was that Meghan was an American actress, divorced, biracial. Some of the things that my brother and sister-in-law, some of the way that they were acting or behaving, definitely felt to me as though unfortunately that stereotyping was causing a bit of a barrier to them really sort of, you know, introducing or welcoming her in, he claimed. Harry's scorching sit-down interview will air exclusively on Channel 7 and 7 Plus on January 9. Harry, 
The interview, which was filmed in California where the Prince now lives, will hit screens at 7. 30 p.m. on Channel 7 and 7 Plus. For more engaging royal content, visit 7 Life on Facebook.